We're going to do a quick video today to show you how to change the steering wheel on a Nissan Navara D40 pickup. Now, I must emphasize this is for guidance only and it does involve working with airbags which are explosive devices and it's better left to a main dealer so this is only for guidance okay right so we're going to show you how to remove the steering wheel um, and the primary objective of that is to in case you need to or we do offer a modified steering wheel here you can see where we've got the sport grip we've got the black piano around the outside the perforated leather so we're going to show you how to swap that over or at least give you some guidance to show you how they would do it okay now the first thing you need to do when working with an air bag is disconnect the battery so if we come around to the front of the car here we have the battery so we've got a 10 millimeter socket we're going to disconnect the negative okay okay so remove that okay and make sure that's out of the way and where it's not going to come back on and, and connect on to the battery that's the last thing you need now at this point of the video you now need to wait five minutes go and have a cup of tea and wait for all the charge to dissipate from from the system in case there's any capacitors in the in the radio etc that hold residual charge because um, otherwise you, you you're in danger of having a problem with the airbag so leave it five minutes um, and the tools you'll need for the next bit are a 19 millimeter socket um, and the airbag release tool. Um, so anyway, we'll, we'll go now and we'll come back in five minutes and show you the next. Okay, so we're in the car now. Um, the tool you'll need to release the airbag is basically a ground off screwdriver. Okay, so we've got a flat end. We've got to push a metal bar. So if I just pass that, we've got the steering lock on and we've got the, ang we've got the steering wheel angled over slightly as you can probably see. And what we're looking for is this little hole under here. Uh, Tom's torch that he's looking for, but I've stolen it already. We're trying to get in this hole. Because if we put the thing in, and what we're feeling for is we're trying to get inside, and then you'll feel a spring pressure. And if you push against that, okay, there's a little wire we need to press. Okay, and what you'll see here, if you look up here, is the airbag is unclipped. Okay, and then what you've got to do <laughs> is jiggle the airbag just a little bit just to release it from the screws while pushing oh, get my head out the way push on that bit of wire okay jiggle there we go and just jiggle the airbag now be very careful when you get the airbag off you haven't got much room to move okay and right now let me get what you'll see if you can just position the airbag enough is you'll see the big black wire is, is coming round and it's under a clip. Now what I've got to do is just force it. Can you see that in the camera, John? No, not quite right. What I'll do is I'll take it off and I'll show you. Okay, so I've just released it from the clip and that gives us a bit more length. Now what we're going to do is release this uh, connection here. Okay, and that one just pulls off there. It's like a spade connection. There, that one just pulls off, okay. And this leaves us with the main connector here. Okay, now I'll show you where it was rooted when I've taken this bit off. Now what we've got to do on this one is we've got to pull this centre black section up slightly. So what you've got to do is just support the yellow bit. You don't want to put any strain on the airbag. There's a little slope there in the yellow bit that you may be able to see on the camera. Okay, now can you see that's popped up there? Okay, and that allows you now to gently pull the, the yellow section away, okay? So there you go, so there's the section. Now that's foolproof. You can't put that back on the wrong way. And I'll just show you why. Now be careful with the airbag. Um, as soon as you've got that airbag off, be careful. You've got this little tab that sticks out from the bottom of the connector. Okay, and that lines up with the tab in the airbag that you can see at the bottom there. So be very careful with the airbag. Now the wire was rooted, it comes out of here, down here, and it goes under this clip here. Put my glove behind it, you might be able to see it. Make sure when you put it back together you root the cable under that clip, okay? 
the airbags and we're very safe away from children um, because it is an explosive device. We just do that. Okay, so now you can see what we've got left in here. Now, actually, the next job is the next thing to do is remove this grey connector in the corner here. Now, to do that, it's a little bit awkward because the, the tab is actually behind the wires here. And you got what I'll do is I'll take it off. You've got to push, push a small screwdriver in there and then pull the connector out. It's a, it's a little bit fiddly because the way the wire runs, you can't actually see what you're trying to do. So if you rotate the camera the same way, you'll see these two, when you put it back on, need to be exactly aligned, okay? All right, thank you, Tom. So, the steering lock's on, but if you just support the steering wheel a bit as you do it. Okay. Strip this video, how to strip this steering wheel down and swap the bits over onto your other wheel.